Hello and welcome to the English virtual class. The topic for today is reinforcement with a grammar focus. Firstly, a revision of the conditionals. Conditional sentences, as you may know, have two parts, the if clause and the main clause. When the if clause comes before the main clause, the two clauses are separated with a comma. Also, when the main clause comes before the if clause, no comma is needed. Type 0 of the conditionals. Zero conditional sentences express general truth situations in which one thing always causes another. When you use a zero conditional, you're talking about a general truth rather than a specific instance of something. For example, if you don't brush your teeth, you get cavities. There are a couple of things to take note of in the above sentences in which a zero conditional is used. For example, when, the, when using the zero conditional, the correct tense to use in both clauses is the simple present tense. A common mistake is to use the simple future tense. Secondly, notice that the words if and when can be used interchangeably in these zero conditional sentences. This is because the outcome will always be the same, so it doesn't matter if or when it happens. Now, type 1 of the conditionals. First, conditional sentences are used to express situations in which the outcome is likely to happen in the future. For example, if you rest, you will feel better. Note that we use the simple present tense in the if clause and simple future tense in the main clause, that is the clause that expresses the likely outcome. This is how we indicate that under a certain condition, a specific result will likely happen in the future. Type 2 of the conditionals. Let's see. Second conditional sentences are useful for expressing outcomes that are completely unrealistic or will not likely happen in the future. Consider the examples below. Just an example. If I inherited a billion dollars, I will travel to the moon. Notice the correct way to structure second conditional sentences is to use a simple past tense in the if clause and an auxiliary modal verb uh, in the main clause. The following sentences illustrate a couple of the common mistakes you might make when using the second conditional. Let's see the incorrect sentence. If I inherit a billion dollars, I will travel to the moon. No, because when applying the second conditional, we use the simple past tense in the if clause. Also, if I own the zoo, I will let people interact with the animals more. This is incorrect, because we use a model auxiliary verb in the main clause when using the second conditional mood to express the unlikelihood that the result will actually happen. Conditional type 3. Third conditional sentences are used to explain that present circumstances would be different if something different had happened in the past. Look, for example, if you had told me you needed a ride, I would have left earlier. These sentences, so the earlier sentences, express a condition that was likely enough but did not actually happen in the past. Note that when using the third conditional, we use the past perfect in the if clause. The model auxiliary plus have plus past participle in the main clause expresses the theoretical situation that could have happened. Let's see some common mistakes. If you would have told me you needed a ride, I would have left earlier. This is incorrect because we do not use modal auxiliary verbs in the if clause. Also, if I had cleaned the house, I could go to the movies. This is also incorrect because the third conditional expresses a situation that could have only happened in the past if a certain condition had been met. Mixed conditionals. The mixed conditional sentences combine two different conditional patterns. Several patterns can be used. Mixed first conditional sentences. For example, if you give me some money, I can buy some milk. It is formed with if plus present simple, can, may, might, will, or should plus verb in the infinitive. Also, in the first conditional sentences, we can use also going to or will. The present continuous and going to can also appear in the if clause. 
Let's continue. The present perfect may also appear in the if clause. For example, if you finish your work, you can go home. Another pattern, mixed third with second conditional. This combination describes an imagined event in the past and the present result. It is formed by if plus past perfect would plus verb in the infinitive. For example, he wouldn't still be sick if he take on the medicine. And another pattern, mixed second with third conditional. This combination describes a situation which is never true and the past consequence of this situation. It is formed by if plus past simple would have plus verb in the infinitive form, for example. The presentation would have been more successful if you were better at speaking in public. Let's practice together to rewrite the sentences as mixed conditional sentences. The first one, she ran 10 kilometers this afternoon, so she's tired now. If she hadn't run 10 kilometers this afternoon, she wouldn't be tired now. The second one, Daniel doesn't like sport, so he didn't watch the match. If Daniel liked sport, he would have watched the match. Number three, they were playing hockey in the rain, so they are soaking wet now. So, if they hadn't been playing hockey in the rain, they wouldn't be soaking wet now. Number four, he isn't a good player, he missed the goal. We transform it into, if he was or were a good player, he wouldn't have missed the goal. Now, a revision of the unreal past and regrets, I wish, if only. We use wish or if only plus subject plus past simple to express regret about present situation which seems to be impossible to change. For example, I wish I knew more about ecology. If only we could save sea animals from starvation. Wish and if only have a similar meaning, but if only is more emphatic than wish. It expresses greater regret. Also, to say that we believe somebody should do something in the present or in the near future, we use it's time or high time plus subject plus past simple. For example, it's high time you start recycling your rubbish. To say what we would prefer somebody to do in the present or future, we use would rather plus subject plus past simple. For example, my mom would rather I didn't eat in my room. For past regrets, to express regret about a past situation, we use wish or if only plus subject plus past perfect. I wish we had done more to prevent this misfortune. If only is stronger than wish. Let's see another example. If only the city council hadn't reduced the funds for environmental protection. Now let's practice together. Choose the correct option. The first one. If only I lost or hadn't lost or didn't lose my camera on the beach that day. Which is the correct one? If only I hadn't lost. The second one. It's high time we stop or stopped or had stopped dumping waste in the seas, which is the correct one? Stopped. The third one, my back salt red. I wish I had or did or would put more sun cream on, which is the correct one? I wish I had. Number four, I'd rather she couldn't or didn't or won't go swimming on her own, to be honest, which is the correct one? Didn't. I'd rather she didn't. Number five, if only I hadn't to, had to, didn't have to go camping, I hate sleeping in tents. Which is the correct one? Let's see. Didn't have. Number six, I wish you knew or had known or know just how much effort I put into this trip. Which is the correct one? I wish you knew. Number seven, if only I had seen, saw or did see her earlier, I'd have asked her to join us. Which is the correct option? Seen. If only I had seen. Thank you for your attention.